It was a crazy Sunday for Brad Underwood and the Fighting Illini. It started in Minneapolis, heading down the Nets as Big Ten tournament champions. It ended late last night with a hero's welcome back in Champaign. Brad Underwood's boys earning their second Big Ten tournament title in four years with another coming, with another come from behind victory, I should say, on Sunday. The successful weekend also improving their seed in the NCAA tournament. The Illini, a three seed in the East region and will make the short trip to Omaha for games on Thursday and possibly Saturday. First things first though, a round one showdown with 14 seed Moorhead State. Yeah, you know, we're looking to make a run. You know, it's one game at a time, though, so, so we're focused on Moorhead State now. For sure, we got a lot of confidence. You know, I think we're, we're trending in the right direction, playing our best ball right now. But, you know, we got to just take an, another step because we've got really good teams that we're about to face. I think this has definitely helped build our confidence, you know, just getting these big wins, um, especially playing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back like this um, was big for us. And, um, you know, it's going to be real good going to the NCAA tournament with this, this kind of confidence. and. Uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. I think there definitely is a whole nother level of uh, intent to trying to win because you don't want your senior year to feel like a disappointment. So, yeah, it's definitely a, a, another level, but regardless of whatever whatever age, uh, you know, you, you still want to go out and compete as hard as you can. I love the fact we're a, we're a three and, um, you know, we got to play Thursday, so we got a quick turn and we got to get focused, but uh, it's not too far a trip. The Illini and Moorhead State tape off at 2.10 Thursday afternoon. Corey Cuffler and Jenna Meyer will both be in Omaha, have full coverage of both the Illini and Iowa State all week for us right here on WQAD. March